So welcome everyone to another installment of the Long Coffee Break. Uh, we are live today in the Long Building Technologies Training Center. And we have Kevin Albers here with ISOAIR, Clean Air Technologies, to share with us a little bit about their standalone self-contained air purification solution. Before we do that, I wanna just remind you that at the end of this presentation, we'll have a little prize drawing. Today we have a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse gift card, a GCI Outdoors rocking camping chair, and what everyone really wants, a cotton casual package of funny socks. So stay tuned at the end. Uh, last week's winner was Aaron Pasold. So congratulations to Aaron, and then we'll let you know the winner at the end of this today. So in town today is ISO Air. This is Kevin, and they're here because they're presenting at the Gaylord of the Rockies for the IVCon Realcom Conference. And so Kevin will share with you a little bit about the solution that they're bringing today. So take it away, Kevin. Hey, thanks, Justin. Thanks for having us here, and uh, we're excited to be working with Long and talking to you guys today about our um, we are in space solution to help people move forward, bring our communities back into a productive state. So first off. COVID-19, it's been identified as a key issue in terms of HVAC being airborne, spreading through aerosolized clouds, um, whether it's an EPA, the CDC, or ASHRAE, they're all recommending to do something to help protect or to mitigate that risk with the HVAC system. Um, some things like whether it's HEPA filters, germicidal UVC, bipolarization, or higher burn filters. A uh, couple of problems with these is for buildings to retrofit this technology to the existing HVAC system uh, can be difficult or not possible. So for example, HEPA filters, they have a high restriction. So just simply throwing them into your existing rooftop unit, it won't be able to handle that kind of, that kind of load. Uh, germicidal UVC, we know it can work if it has the right um, exposure and intensity, but the problem is if you're moving 800 feet per minute or 1,000 feet per minute through your existing rooftop, it's not enough exposure time to be effective. So that makes it hard again for people to get this technology. Bipolarization, that's something that's kind of come to the forefront um, in the industry these days. They've shown some great testing with it that it can work, but the trick is again, if it's in the rooftop, getting it out of the discharge grills into that active space, you have active ion counts high enough in the space to be effective, can be difficult. So we've seen it work, but we've also seen applications where uh, they just don't get what they think they're gonna get. And then with the MERV 13 filters, um, again, it's hard for a lot of places to get that high. Maybe they get into MERV 11. If they are able to get to MERV 13, they've got that increased load, higher maintenance costs, and it's only 50%, less than 50% effective on micron sizes, one to three microns. And the virus is actually 0.1 microns. So it's good to help catch maybe the dust or things that it rides on. It's not very good at capturing the actual air size for the small size, 1.1 micron size. Of the virus itself. So that's where these portable units or portable solutions come into play. So this is just an example from ASHRAE, the CDC, and EPA. This is for schools. They're saying use a portable electric HEPA with UV machine for each classroom. Minimum of two air changes per hour, ensuring that it has the right strategy, uh, the, the right design to be able to have effective mixing of air in the classroom. So you're not just getting this little localized area of clean air over here, you're effectively able to get clean air um, throughout the space. That's where we come in with ISO air. You know, we saw in our community at the start of the pandemic, uh, a lot of hospitals needing to expand their isolation rooms. And that's where we actually originally developed this product for. But then we saw that this wasn't going away. Schools are shut down, businesses are shut down or reduced capacity. Um, trying to find a way, how can we help our community get back? How can we move forward with a solution that whether you have ventilation or not, or uh, you, you already have these kinds of existing technologies to put into place so you can get that sort of purification, that level of protection so you can move forward. And that's where we put together a package that uses proven medical grade technology such as HEPA filtration, bipolarization, and UVC serialization to provide that highest level of protection. Now, also going into this, we've been in the industry for over 50 years in terms of ventilation. So we know a lot of strategies with properly um, venting or filtering air so it's effective, not just, again, randomly mixing. What you want to do is blow high, pull low, so you're getting things out of the breathing zone. We designed our unit to do just that. 
Um, we're also providing industry leading protection with offensive and defensive purification strategy. So we're not putting all our eggs in one basket. We've got the HEPA filter playing a huge role in capturing viruses, bacteria, um, other kind of allergens, basically 99.99%. Same stuff that's used in a hospital, in a hospital or surgical room. The ionization works great as an active form because it goes out in the space, it spreads throughout the space. So even before the air gets back to the HEPA filter, it's helping clean the air. And the UVC provides that um, extra level protection at the unit to ensure that any, you know, for that highest level or maximum level protection, it's a great fail safe. Again, it's effective, we designed it right, it's a purpose-built solution. And it's easy to deploy, it plugs right into your 110 outlet, so you're not having to do a whole bunch of electrical rewiring. Um, it's not high on amps, it's really quiet. We've seen this as a key piece because last thing you wanna do is put something in your space that's gonna be disruptive. We've seen it a lot with other smaller little units. People go into the room, the conference room, and they unplug it because they can't hear each other. So you've designed the unit to be quiet. So you can have the protection, continue on with your lives and move forward. It comes in a variety of sizes depending on what your space is, whether it's 500 or 2000, up to 2000 CFM. Again, it's variable speed, so you can adjust it to what you need. So this is a big differentiator for us. We use quality American made components that are UL listed. We're not using a small little squirrel cage fan that has to spin really fast and it's really loud. We've got a powerful commercial grade ECM fan from Twin Cities Fan. Um, it's long life, we're talking running 24 seven for 15 years. It's powerful enough to get that air throw you need to get that filtration properly throughout the room. Then we've got, that, we've got a uh, medical grade HEPA filtration. It's 24 by 24 by 12 inches thick. I mean, the thing weighs 30 to 40 pounds. This is not your typical little home filter. Um, it's long life, it's high capacity, so you're not losing that airflow as your filters load up. Then we've got the ozone-free bipolarization. Um, key piece here is that it's ozone-free, not only meets the UL for minimum ozone, but also the UL for ozone-free, which is actually pretty hard to get. Um, it works great with HEPA filtration, and it's key to make sure you pair it with filtration uh, because it doesn't work instantly. It takes some time, um, so it's really great to pair with HEPA. They work really well together. Either help, helps neutralize the pathogens by pulling hydrogen away from them, but also helping them move in the airstream, get out of the airstream, fall down because they're clumping up, getting larger in size and heavier. This is a little bit newer, so I'm going to cover this a little bit more in depth on the next slide. Then we go to UV sterilization. Again, this is optional. The whole thing here is we're wrecking the DNA or the RNA of that, that pathogen to prevent the reproduction. So the ozone-free bipolarization, what we're using is needle point bipolarization, it's ozone-free. The whole point of it is to emit positive and negative ions, to go out into the space, it fills the space, to find basically oppositely charged particles that it wants to recombine. So for example, for pathogens like a virus, as you'll see on the bottom right, um, if you can wreck the protein coat, the protein coat acts as like the keys to the cell. So if you can wreck that, it renders its ability to reproduce ineffective. So that's what basically the ions do is they attach to it, they pull hydrogen away from it, and helping that virus not be able to infect other cells. For bacteria, it actually would kill them because it's pulling that um, hydrogen away from it, splitting it open. It's great for not only viruses and bacteria, but also odors and VOCs. Um, again, it helps them clump up because they're obviously charged, so they want to start combining with other particles. That helps it be caught in filtration or even just get large enough so it can be moved in the air. In terms of COVID-19 effectiveness, They've done some various tests on it. Um, they've shown with the right kinds of concentrations, you're looking at 84% in 10 minutes, 99% in 30 minutes. Again, it's not instant, so it's important to make sure you're having filtration coupled with it, but it can be a good option to provide an added layer of protection to that space. Um, it's important to have you know, two to, at least two to 3,000 ions per cubic centimeter um, in that space. If you have lower than that, I mean, they actually exist in nature itself, I go outside here in the city of Denver, probably looking around two to 500 ions per cubic centimeter. As you go to waterfalls or out in the mountains, you actually get in the thousands of, of cubic centimeters. So nature creates ions itself. It's sort of nature's way of cleaning the air. What we're doing is replicating that indoor so we can have cleaner air. Um, there's ion counters out there. So it's really important to use these ion counters to go into the space and see what your concentrations are. So you can know is my solution 
adequate enough or do I need more? On the bottom left, you'll see a couple more results of some testing on other pathogens like flu, tuberculosis, et cetera, um, of what ions and um, this technology can do. So why we're all here? We're all, you know, a lot of us are stuck at home. Our kids aren't able to go to school or online, or we're not able to get people to come back into our businesses. What we're trying to do here is move forward safeguard our customers, safeguard our employees, create a space that people want to come back into, that can feel safe coming back into, provide that peace of mind for people. And it goes beyond even COVID-19, whether it's allergens, cold, flu, um, pollution, to improve people's health, improve people's productivity, reduce sick time, um, whether it's students, offices, classrooms. It goes a long way. We have multiple people from these installations comment how their asthma feels better. They don't, they're not coughing. Their allergies are better. Um, it's just an excellent solution for creating safe, easy, easy, healthy air indoors, no matter you have ventilation or no ventilation. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to kind of go into now showing you guys the unit itself um, in person here. We've got a couple different units. All right. Can you guys see the video on the whole screen now? Let's see here, should be working. Perfect. All right, so this is our medium sized model. Again, these are variable speed. This is our 750 CFM, so you can always turn it down. Our 500 CFM is a little shorter, our 1000 CFM is a little higher, and our 2000 CFM is just a little bit bigger. This is on wheels, you can move them around, you can place them in that space. I open up this front door here. Can see the components a little bit better. So we've got our on off switch and our controls and our variable speed controller. You can always put them on the outside. We've got our HEPA filter with a pre filter. So we're extending the life of that HEPA. So we're getting that one to three years of use. So essentially, what we're doing is we're getting a localized solution in space. Where is the problem? Where the people are. We're getting filtration in the space. We're not relying on that return air or that lower level filtration in the existing unit. We're getting the ionization discharging in the space. So you're getting the maximum high ion counts. So our ionization is located here, right next to the grill. HEPAs are down here, so you're filtering the air. Ions are coming out, clean air is coming out, getting again that, that in-space protection to provide the most effective uh, safeguard against different pathogens. So Kevin, I got to be a part of that team with Realcom. They put together a whole team of experts from HVAC, engineering, uh, the real estate community, to walk through the Gaylord of the Rockies and try to decide how can we do a conference safely? How can we do it? And they chose you guys as the solution for air purification because you're running inside the space. Um, I can't believe how quiet it is. Right. Just standing here, I mean, it doesn't come with these little strings from the factory, but you can demonstrate the air is moving and it is very quiet. So I know you guys started as like hospital isolation rooms, but you've expanded now to look at serving schools and all different kinds of commercial spaces. Is that right? Right. Um, you know, again, we originally thought for healthcare spaces or isolation rooms, but we saw that every, this wasn't going away. People need solutions to bring people back or keep people there without getting sick by having these in-space solutions. Um, everybody's hurting. How can people are looking for solutions that, hey, how can I bring people back in a safe manner and provide that better space? And so I've walked at some, a number of different schools and offices, yeah. and a lot of them have these little boxes that they've plugged in, and it's got a green light on it. How do we know that those aren't the best way? I mean, you mentioned this air ion counter. Can you yeah. take a reading in here and demonstrate how that would work? Yep. So two things, that, you know, is your solution effective? You've got to make sure you have um, the right amount of air changes. So calculating based on CFM and the space you're trying to treat. You've got a little, a, too small of a unit for a large space. You're not getting enough, um, you don't have enough capacity of that unit to effectively treat that space. For ions, it's all about that ion count. So there's actually a way to measure this because you can't see the ions coming out. So since it's a newer technology, it's hard for people to understand, well, how do I know it's working? But you can't just rely on the green light. What you really gotta do is use an air ion counter. Um, they're available on the marketplace. What you can do is throughout your space, your room or throughout your facility, and hey, take a measurement and see, yes, I have the ion, high enough ion concentrations for that safety level I'm looking for, or no, I don't. So for example, measuring the space, uh, you know, 
throughout the space, we're seeing a range between eight to 25,000 ions. And that's with just one unit running. And again, you wanna shoot for at least a minimum of two to 3,000 ions per cubic centimeter. And then at least in this room, we're between eight and 20,000 uh, ions per cubic centimeter, which is a really great level of protection. The more you have, the better. You get faster kill rates, it's a little bit more effective. They can be a little clumpy when they go through the ion counter, they'll fluctuate. Um, so the trick is, you know, make sure you measure different parts of the room or your facility to make sure you're getting the solution that um, you, you purchased. So this is not a little box you just plug in. This is an engineered solution yes. with multi-layer air purification, UV, bipolar filtration, all in one box, it's standalone, it's portable. You guys, this is a, a terrific solution. So thank you, Kevin, for coming to talk with us about it. And next week, don't forget to join us. Um, Mike Jacobs, one of our salesmen here, will be presenting with Jared Swanson. And Jared is from Daikin, and he represents their intelligent systems, which is their manufactured supplied control solution. So we invite you to come back next week uh, for another long coffee break. Thank you again to Kevin and the ISOware team for coming out. We encourage you guys to contact your long sales rep if you want to know more information. We will have examples here in the long building. So if you want to come and see one of these units for yourself, experience how quiet it is and, and see the readings of how effective it is. And we welcome you to do that. So thank you all so much. Have a great afternoon. Goodbye. Thank you guys.